How a Mother's Diet May Shape Autism and ADHD Risks For decades, we've known that smoking, alcohol, and poor nutrition during pregnancy can impact fetal development. But now, groundbreaking research has revealed a strong link between a mother's diet and the likelihood of her child developing ADHD or autism. A large-scale study analyzed over 60,000 mother-child pairs. The results? The more a pregnant woman's diet leaned toward a Western pattern, high in processed foods, sugar, and unhealthy fats, the higher the risk of neurodevelopmental disorders in her child. Even small shifts toward a Western diet increase the risk of ADHD by 66% and autism by a staggering 122%. The study didn't just rely on food diaries. It used advanced metabolomic analysis of blood samples to detect biochemical changes linked to diet. The strongest associations were found in the first and second trimesters, indicating that early fetal brain development may be especially sensitive to maternal nutrition. So what does this mean for expecting mothers? The good news is that even small dietary adjustments, such as increasing fruit, vegetables, and fish intake, may significantly lower the risk of ADHD and autism. The findings also challenge whether current dietary guidelines for pregnancy are truly effective. In Denmark and many other countries, recommendations largely mirror those for the general population. But with growing evidence that prenatal nutrition directly impacts brain development, should guidelines be tailored more specifically to support neurodevelopment? This research opens new doors. By understanding which nutrients and foods play the most crucial role in fetal brain health, we may one day refine dietary recommendations and even develop targeted nutritional interventions to help protect future generations. The message is clear. What a mother eats during pregnancy isn't just fueling her body, it's shaping the neurological future of her child. This study is based on the research paper, A Western Dietary Pattern During Pregnancy is Associated with Neurodevelopmental Disorders in Childhood and Adolescence by David Horner et al. in Nature Metabolism. What do you think about this research? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.